Hey guys, this video is to show you how to take the fonts that are on your SD card for the WTF OS uh, fonts and move them into the goggles so you no longer need to have the SD card inserted into the goggles or at that point you're free to also reformat the SD card in the goggles without losing your nice looking fonts. So let's start. So as you can see, um, this is the Sneaky FPV homepage for the fonts. Um, put, I'll put a link in the description for this. Um, for those who didn't know, I'm Sneaky FPV. This is the location for fonts for WTF, Walk Snail, HD0. Um, so let's go to the WTF OS section and I'm going to demonstrate this using Betaflight. So on the web page, we'll navigate to the beta flight section. Um, I will go to the latest version of the fonts, which I've updated sometime today. And I'm going to download Sphere as an example. So I'm going to open this and you can't see it, but I'm going to, you can see my USB drive is already from the SD card is, is sitting on my computer at the moment, it's not in the goggles and there's nothing on the root of it in terms of the font files. So I'm going to take the four font files from that zip file and put them in the root. That's essentially all I need to do um, in preparation on the SD card. So now I can just uh, take the SD card out and put it into the goggles in preparation. So with the goggles uh, turned off, they're not powered, the USB cable is not connected, I'm going to insert the SD card into the goggles. And what I'm going to do then is simply power the USB, uh, sorry, power the goggles without the USB connected. But as soon after I put the power uh, connected to the goggles, I'll plug the USB into the goggles connected to the computer. Um, I found this the most reliable way to get this to work in terms of accessing uh, the SD card from the CLI um, on fpv.wtf so otherwise Windows can take hold of the SD card when you've connected to the USB and you won't actually see it in the CLI so I'm just powering the goggles give it a second or two putting the USB in I can close down this I don't need that anymore I don't need that anymore um, I've navigated to fpv.wtf and I'll just wait here for a moment. So as you can see, we are now connected to the goggles and I can look at what's on the goggles in, in terms of packages, etc. So you can see there's a valid connection. Um, So you can see that I'm on the latest MSPSD. That doesn't really matter in terms of this process at the moment. Uh, there's probably going to be an update to MSPOSD at a later point in time, which will change the format of the font files and possibly give you a different mechanism to put the files on the goggles. Um, other than what we're describing today, but as at this time, that's not um, available to us. So I'm going to go to the CLI and what we need to do is figure out what the goggles thinks is the location for the SD card and that's simply uh, doing these commands so that's an LS which is a uh, I guess a DIR 
command equivalent in Windows if, you, if you're used to using the command prompt. Forward slash MNT forward slash media underscore RW. And this is going to tell us what the goggles thinks the SD card is called or what we know in Linux terms is the mount point. So if we're referring to the SD card from this point on, its full location is forward slash MNT forward slash media underscore RW forward slash E457-F5AD. Now this name for the SD card will differ for every single SD card that you put in your goggles. So you have to note what that is when you're doing this process. So one of the first things we're going to do is uh, make a backup of the font files that are on the goggles so that at some point in the future, if we want to return them to what, what they were before, we can do so. So doing that in the CLI, we first need to uh, make the directory on the SD card so that we can put the um, backed up files on there. So that's a mkdir command for make directory. And we're going to put that in mnt media underscore rw. And we're going to use the e four five seven dash f five ad and we're going to call it fonts backup okay so that directory has been created on the sd card and now we're going to copy CP is the copy command from where the fonts are located on the goggles. So we're copying everything that's in this fonts directory using the wildcard asterisk and we're putting it into the directory we just created. I say it flicked across then and you've got this little um, side error. It just means that it thinks it's too wide and it wants to push it off to the side of the screen. It's not going to fail the command. It's just um, moving it for, for a reason. I guess there must be a limited uh, horizontal size of the, the interface on the goggle side. Okay, so that should be sufficient. Um, no, we need to put in the fonts back up. And that will go and do its thing. And it's now copied those files. So if I went and had a look in that directory on the SD card, we can do that by doing uh, this. So E seven seven F five A D and fonts underscore backup. So that will list what's in that directory and you can see there the files that have come from the goggles. So the goggles has uh, a default font um, without any indicate or any uh, mapping to the flight control software. Um, there's one there for RG Pilot, Beta Flight, iNav and Ultra. So those have been copied. So now we've done that, we can actually take the files that we copied onto our uh, SD card 
and put them, overwrite them essentially in that directory. So we can do that by essentially doing another copy command. And this time it's sort of the other way around. We're taking it from the media. And we're going to do font underscore asterisk. So we're taking all the font files that are in the root of the SD card and we're putting them into the Google location. Like box, WTFOS, APT, fonts. Oh, helps if I spell it correctly. Okay, they're now living in the directory on the goggles. So if we have a look, um, if we have a look what's on the SD card. Oh no, it doesn't make any sense. That's fine. So let's take that um, and you're, you're free now to take the SD card out of the goggles, restart the goggles, connect it up to your flight controller as you would normally do. And you should observe that for, in this case, for beta flight, these files have been overwritten with what was on the SD card. They now live on the goggles permanently, um, at least until another firmware for the goggles becomes along or there's an, a significant update to the MSP OSD packages. Uh, so they may at some point disappear, but you now have the process to put them back on if you'd like to. So at the point in future, if you ever need to revert this, uh, you're simply going to copy them back using um, this command which is essentially taking them all from the backup directory whilst the SD card is in the um, in the goggles. Noting also, if you decide to format the goggles um, at a later point, um, so if format the SD card, you may want to copy off the font backup directory onto your computer so that you can do this at a later point. So E457, F, I, D, and we're taking it from the fonts back up. And we're getting everything in there and putting it back onto the goggles. And now they're back to where they were before from the backup we took and put into the fonts backup. So that's about it. Um, you're free to format your SD card in your goggles. Just note that you may want to take the fonts backup that is now on the SD card and place it on your computer as a backup somewhere. Um, I can uh, I'll inject the SD card from the goggles, put it into the computer. Okay, it's in the computer. So this is the SD 
USB drive. Uh, you can see they're the files that we copied on to the goggles. They still live on the SD card. We didn't move them, we just copied them. Um, and in the fonts backup, you can see all the fonts that were on the goggles. And you can take that directory and copy it off and then reformat the SD card to your content. Anyway, I hope that helped you guys. Um, this is a process you can do as long as you've got available the CLI. Um, so it can be done on Mac, can be done on Windows, can be done on uh, anything essentially, I think that's got a browser um, that allows you to connect to your um, WTF or FPV.WTF CLI. Anyway, enjoy.